All right, guys. What we got here is a Ford E150 van. This is a 2000. So this is an oldie but goodie. I'm going to do a water pump on it because that's what's leaking. Now, to get to the water pump, you have to remove the air clean assembly. Right, the big uh, round thing over here comes in two pieces. This piece here comes off the throttle body. Right, take that, remove that up out of the way. There's a little hose over here. That's this one. Okay, unplug that. Put that off to the side. And then what you have to do is you have to remove the shroud and the fan. Okay, the shroud has two bolts, one here, one here. You can take the upper right air hose off. Makes it a little easier, it gives it a little bit more room. I moved the AC uh, line off a little bit, just bent it out of the way because the shroud has to come up. There's also a little hose over here for the lower radiator hose. It's actually attached to the shroud with a little uh, plastic clip. Just pop that out, move it over to the side, loosen up the bolts, and you'll be able to move the shroud just a little bit. But the important part is you have to take it off the water pump. And it's, a, it's a spin on it. Right, you can rent the tool. There's a tool that uh, helps you take that out nice and easy. It holds the uh, four bolts on there, and then there's a nice wrench over there. That's like a one and a little less than a one and a half, I think it is, or a little bit more. I use a big adjustable. It's a righty tidy lefty loosey. Okay, not like the other cars is using a left hand thread. This is actually a right hand thread. All right, so lefty loosey, hit it a couple of times, it'll spin right out. Well, kind of. It is a pain in the butt. So once you spin that out, this will be removed along with the shroud, come straight up. Once you come straight up, then you take your belt off with the tensioner. All right, just loosen up the tensioner, the belt comes right off. Then you got the four bolts that hold the water pump pulley. Take that up out of the way, and then what you're going to see is you're going to see the water pump. So the water pump is going to stick out there. It's got this heater inlet pipe. As you can tell, it's uh, pretty much in there. I'll explain that to you in a little bit. It's got two heater hoses here, and it's got a little tiny hose that goes to the right side of the engine. And these are the bolts that hold the water pump in. And you got the lower rated hose. Just disconnect that, move that out of the way. And I'm gonna show you the bolts for the water pump. In here, you got the bolts for the water pump. All right. Got three studs on this side, two studs on that side. And you got uh, three little tiny bolts. Okay, but I'm going to show you on the water pump here, it's a little bit easier. These are three studs. These are two studs. These are four little tiny bolts. Well, actually, three tiny bolts. This one actually has a stud also. You can't miss them. Um, you can't mess them up because these are short ones, and this one here is a real long one. All right, so like I said, these are studs. Now, there's a bracket that attaches to here and goes this way. It actually is for the AC condenser. They are really, really long bolts. These are the ones. They have a problem of snapping because of the length and because of the age and they go into the aluminum head, they could snap and you could be in big trouble. So what I did here was, basically, I just soaked it with WD-40, threw it in the back of the head, sprayed the crap out of it, let it sit, put a nice little 15 millimeter in here and just started turning just a little bit at a time until you started to give. Give it a rest, spray it again, did it again. You can't get any heat in there because it's too far in and I was able to get these two out. So these two actually bolt right here to there. Okay, so this bracket has to come out. These long bolts have to come out. After that, the water pump comes out. Okay, you gotta clean all the mating surfaces as usual. Okay, and then uh, because this is a 2000 truck, it's already 20 years old, this pipe is not going to come out really nice out of here. And if it does come out, it's going to be party bent and it might leak. So why do the job twice? I'm going to order a pipe either from Ford. I think Dorman makes it. In the Dorman picture, I don't see that little tiny holes in the back. Unless it was hitting when they took a picture of it. Picture looks like this. 
it only shows two outlets, but it should be three. Okay, this is from 2000 and up. There's also a version from uh, 1999 and down, which has four hoses. All right, has another little tiny one over here. So make sure you get the right one. The replacement one is going to be a Duraless new water pump. That's the baby right there. And this is the one that's going to go in. All right, make sure you use your little gasket sealant. Put that in. And while you're here, if you want to, there's a lot of things you can change, people. Okay, this is an old one. You can change all those heater hoses. You can go into the thermostat. There's another hose over there. So, it's like anything you touch on this car, it's old. Okay, you got the valve tensioner. If you want to change, you got the idler pulley back there. There's a lot of things you could change. It all depends. It is 20 years old. So, we're just going to change whatever this van needs for now. And we'll be on our way. Just be careful with this little harness over here, okay? This wraps around the water pump. It goes to the crank sensor on the bottom. Other than that, that's it. And don't forget, hey, clean that throttle plate while you're here. Because you don't want to take all this stuff back all at once again. Alright, ciao.